talk, so I will keep you long. Um, my name is uh, Melanie McCray. Um, and I work for Highlands and Islands Enterprise, um, but I'm lucky enough to have worked for both Community Energy Scotland and Local Energy Scotland in the past before, so it's nice to see so many familiar faces in the audience. Um, I'm just going to talk a bit today about High's role um, with communities, um, account managing and the interaction we have, and the scale and the overview of, of what's happening in the High area, and as well just touching on some of the areas that, that Felix talked about briefly, um, and looking at this new uh, local energy, lo low carbon infrastructure transition programme. So... <clears throat> You'll have heard um, from my colleague Gavin Mackay earlier today, um, hopefully about, about High and its role, but we basically, just a recap, set out to deliver the government's economic strategy. Um, so we have an economic development remit, but unique to High, we also have a community development remit. And as part of that remit, we have, um, in our eight area offices across the region, we have a number of support teams um, who account manage communities um, for growth. And central to the, that growth and development plans is in 99% of cases, renewable energy is part of the, those growth plans. Um, so it's key really around the support that we recognise um, is to be a smart, successful communities. In the pipeline um, of projects across the Highlands and Islands, we've got in the region of 300 projects going forward, communities taking forward uh, energy projects. Now that could be whether looking at local energy supply, it could also be whether looking to invest in shared ownership. So there's a wide range of, of, uh, of projects going forward. But just to touch on the scale there, that's just in the high region, that's not across the whole of Scotland. So you're really talking about a, a massive scale. Um, and touching on some of the complexities that there is uh, to support these projects to go forward, that's what we're really interested in. How can the Highlands and Islands and High be best place to help make sure that the support's there for those communities to realise those projects? So out of those 300, probably about 60 are at the moment, because of grid, innovation, grid issues and constraint issues, looking at local energy supply and, and uh, smart community, smart supply options. Um, and I think we'll see that growing as time goes on. So the type of projects um, that you know we're looking at is just, again, coming back to partnerships. Um, we work, work very, the communities, because of the complexities of these projects, are working with you know, the, the likes of CES and Local Energy Scotland to take these projects forward, and also the private sector as well. So um, traditionally we were seeing communities taking projects forward themselves, now they're doing it in partnership just to do with the complexity of the, of the issues that needs to be um, unravelled. And some of the work that High has been involved in to date, we were a partner in the um, ECCI programme, the Smart Accelerator and Sustainable Islands programme. So there's a, a number of projects up there that High has uh, supported through that, um, looking at uh, Stornoway Low Carbon Hub, Sustainable um, Harbours and Orkney's Electric Futures. We've also um, been involved in the Local Energy Economy uh, Support Programme that was a partnership with um, Community Energy Scotland looking at how to support these projects going forward. So it's really a, a, a complex area. And lastly, just looking at the Local Energy Challenge Fund, I mentioned partnerships. It's not just partnerships on the community level, there's also um, on the, the policy um, and uh, agency level as well. The Local Energy Challenge Fund is run by Local Energy Scotland, who are here in the audience today. Um, on behalf of the Scottish Government, um, hire members of the panel as our Scottish Enterprise, um, as are a number of organisations out there. So it's really a coming together of, of everybody in the sector to look at um, how to take these projects forward. And just to highlight, out of the 17 applications that have been supported through to the second phase, um, nine have been from the Highlands and Islands area, so that's really successful. Um, there's highlighting a few of those projects which, which Felix touched on already. The winners will be announced in March at the Local Energy Scotland conference. Um, so again, just looking at what PI are looking to do in the future. 
Um, I, meant, uh, I mentioned that we're, we're looking to see where we can support um, communities to develop these projects and part of that is through our role in a, a national development unit for low carbon infrastructure projects. So this is a partnership project, it's a European structural initiative led by the Scottish Government where HI um, are leading on the community stream with um, Scottish Government and working in partnership with Scottish Enterprise, Scottish Futures Trust and what was the Green Investment Portfolio. So we've all co-located as part of this and it's a £180 million support programme um, over eight years for um, communities, private sector um, and uh, public sector projects looking to reduce carbon and um, bring low carbon innovative projects to an investor ready stage and encourage capital finance. Um, we've only been in place since the 5th of January so everything's quite new with the programme. Um, we, the programme will support uh, the development and acceleration of low carbon uh, projects and providing catalysts uh, support, de development support and demonstrator support um, and there's a, a contact email there if you've got an inquiry you want to discuss your project you think you might, you know we're talking about the funding that's required to make these projects happen then get in touch um, and somebody will be back in touch to speak to you and I think that's me. So it's just a really quick overview, um, but just to re-emphasise that HIA is committed to um, enabling this sector to develop and, and grow and, and put the right support in place to help that to happen. Okay, thanks very much. Thank